Most people don't completely understand dog whistle training. Some dog owners would even think that by whistling, the dog would immediately understand that he needs to go back. Most of us could have observed some training by dog handlers and how good they are with the whistle control over the dogs. Of course, you would want to get your dog recall trained by using a whistle. Reasons why dog whistle training works. 1. Usability of the whistle. A whistle can be used by any dog owner. If you think about it, a dog would hear different voices whenever someone is going to command them. A whistle on the other hand, would sound almost the same even if there are different people whistling. 2. A whistle has no emotion. Your dog can tell if you are feeling angry, in a rush, or even if you are quite pissed. Thus, it is much better to use a whistle with no emotion and is absolutely consistent. Usually, this is important during training especially if you are making your dog get used to commands. 3. Whistle reaches far. If you are going to recall your dog from a distance away, your voice may not reach your dog. There could be instances that even though your dog may hear you, he may not recognize the command. The whistle's sharp sound can go a long way. This proves that a whistle is a better way to command your dog outdoors. 4. The sound of the whistle is exciting for dogs. When dogs are properly trained with the whistle, they could get excited with it. This excitement could be developed like how dogs get excited with a bag of treats. Thus, a whistle is a good link to a positive response since it is more consistent than voice commands. Teaching your dog recall using a whistle. There are a few steps to follow in order to finish the training on the recall. Although you might have to follow this method wholeheartedly. Every training should be completed with patience and understanding for the dog. Consistence also pays a lot with training. If you are not consistent with the training regimen for your dog, it could all go to waste. Here are the methods for your dog's recall training using a whistle. 1. Make a positive association with the whistle. This could be easy as it sounds, but it may take a long time in reality. First, look for things that your dog loves. He might love certain delicious treats like beef slices or even a cracker. Some things that your dog might love is his favorite ball or toy. Use the whistle every time you are going to give him treats or you are allowing him to play with his favorite toy. If you are interested in other dog training videos, check out some of our playlists and discover even more information about dogs. 2. Use the whistle at your home. Training dogs should naturally start at home. It is recommended to wait for your dog to calm down before whistling. Whenever you whistle, give your dog some treats. Do it little by little to increase the frequency of your whistling even with little amount of rewards. Make sure that your dog succeeds with this part. You would know that your dog has succeeded if he immediately starts to go to you after he hears the whistle. 3. Whistling in transition. You may use your whistle in a garden or in your backyard with your dog. This is the first transition where he could hear very minimal distractions while you are whistling. Observe and wait for your dog if he is not paying attention to anything that you are doing. Give some short blows on the whistle. You may even go and run to the opposite direction so that your dog would chase you. Reward properly if your dog goes to your side after a whistle. It is also recommended to step things up by letting your dog associate the whistle with dinner. Whistle a few times before giving him his food during dinner time or even other meal times. This will add to the positive association of your dog to the whistle. 4. Whistling in public. When taking your dog out for a walk, get him to a relatively quiet public area that you could use for training. To add success to this part, you may use an area that you and your dog do not usually visit. If you went immediately to a usual area where your dog is running, it might be difficult for whistle training. Although it might work, there is a higher chance for success in a more unfamiliar area where he will not go wild and play. At this part, you would want your dog to definitely succeed and not mess up his recall training. On this quiet and confined area, try to slowly step away from your dog at a considerable distance before whistling. Observe if he recalls to you or wants to recall to you. If he doesn't immediately respond to the recall, give it a few more sharp whistles. If he still did not come back to you, 
then you could get even more closer than before. Better yet, back up on the steps and repeat step number three. This could mean that your dog is not dead set on following you on your whistle. If he recalls quickly, then you generously give him a reward. Use whistle while in the public. Try not to go to areas with lots of distractions. Introduce the whistle slowly during walks, or even at parks, in a quiet time. Every time he recalls, reward properly. 5. Rinse and repeat. Repeat the above steps until your dog completely recalls to you with just a whistle. Your dog will learn and wants to learn this with you. Try not to punish your dog if he did not recall even on multiple whistles. If you are consistent and patient enough with your dog during the whistle training, you will find that it is extremely rewarding and fun to do. As an additional tip, always reward handsomely especially in the early stages of the training. This will help boost the positive association of your dog to the sound of the whistle. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.